This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. This session's all about the solutions to exercise six, which was on functions. Question one was all about producing a conversion table between Celsius and Fahrenheit temperatures. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a new M file. You'll see I already have the editor window open, so I can just click new M file. And the first thing that we do when we're creating a function M file is put the function definition line at the top of the file, just so as MATLAB knows that it's a function we're writing and not, for example, a script. So the function definition line consists of the word function, all in lowercase, and then we specify the output arguments from our function. And in this case, we just want our function to produce a table of temperatures. So we only have one output argument, and we'll call it temp table. We then have an equal sign followed by the name of the function. So we'll call this Celsius to Fahrenheit. After the name of the function, we've got the input arguments to the function. So in this case, our function is going to have two input arguments a lower bound for the temperature and an upper bound for the temperature. And that completes our function definition line. So now we'll add comments to the file, like we've been doing with scripts, describing the function, giving the author and date, and then we'll go on and create a variable dictionary. So now that we've defined our input and output values in the variable dictionary, we're just going to define a couple of local variables that are going to hold the Celsius and Fahrenheit values. And now we're ready to actually begin the doing part of the function. So the first thing we're going to do is use our local Celsius variable and define a column vector of the lower to upper temperatures that have been input into the function. So we're just using the typical square brackets and colon notation to define a range, starting at T lower, going up to T upper, and then we'll use the single quote to transpose that row vector into a column vector. We'll then use our second local variable, Fahrenheit, to do the actual conversion of temperatures. The formula for that is given in the statement of the problem. So the last thing we're going to do is define our output matrix, which will be a table of the Celsius and Fahrenheit values. And we just use the square brackets to concatenate together the Celsius and Fahrenheit vectors that we've already defined. So that's our function complete. We're now going to save it. And you'll see that when we go to save it, MATLAB automatically fills out the file name for us, which should correspond to the function name that we specified at the top of the file. So we can just accept that and choose save. And we're now ready to test the function. So we'll go into the command window and we'll define uh, an output variable for the output of the function. And it doesn't have to be the same name as the one that we used in the function, so we'll just call it my temp. Then we'll give the name of the function. And 
and we'll give the lower and upper bounds of the temperatures that we want to convert. So we're asked to convert from 0 to 25 degrees Celsius. So the inputs to the function are 0 and 25. And you'll see the resulting output as a table of Celsius and Fahrenheit temperatures. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.